Thank you for joining me on this Sunday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. We're thinking of those impacted by Lee and those being impacted by this heat dome. We've had some folks getting sick across parts of the Caribbean because of that heat. It has been so, so hot, so, so high. I wanna get into that, of course. I wanna get into Nigel and where we could see Ophelia form. We'll do that in this video, but the heat dome is in place. That's an area of high pressure, a little bit unusual for this time of year. That acts like a blocker. That keeps those storm systems up and around us. We haven't had really any good tropical waves move in for the most part. We've had some areas of storm but not a whole lot and I do expect this heat dome to stick in place for about another week and a half so yes some areas of showers and storms otherwise drier and hotter than average I'm watching it for you thinking of you if you are dealing with this extreme heat now as we get a look at the big picture and then I want to look ahead at where we could see our next uh, name system form and when uh, watching what's left of Lee I'll get into that that is Nigel good news on Nigel I love when I can pass along good news especially in September peak of the hurricane season Nigel should stay to the east of Bermuda I'll dive into that but I'm also also watching other tropical waves out here and really what's left of Margo Margo is going to bring some gustier winds uh, to the Azores so watching that not super or Organized as it works its way toward the Azores. Here we go over toward uh, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, and you can see what's left of a diminishing lee. Still some gusty winds, some rain around for my friends in the Atlantic region of Canada at times for today. Now, here's what's next. Let me take you ahead in time. This is Nigel watching Bermuda here. This spin up here, Margo, and that will head toward the Azores. And then we're watching a few spots out there. So kind of looking for that next next name system. The next name on the list is Ophelia. Now here's Tuesday. Here's Bermuda. Nigel should be safely off to the east of Bermuda. I will watch for any changes, of course. Here's that front that will try to grab it in time and slide it off to the east. Then we'll keep an eye on uh, the Atlantic region of Canada. It should mainly stay to the south and east. But then after that, as we go throughout the week, we're going to have a lot to track together, finding where that next name system is. A few spots I'm watching. We're going to see some stronger tropical waves off the coast of Africa this week. One spot off the coast of Florida, down through the Bahamas that may develop, and the buildup of moisture again in the Western Caribbean. This is by the time we get into Friday. This right here off the coast of Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, that may briefly spin up into a named system. Watching this moisture here south of Jamaica, very close to uh, Nicaragua, and several strong tropical waves that will be moving off the coast of Africa as we go throughout the week. This is by the upcoming weekend watching this area here and you see some of the extra moisture here and then a few spots. Look at that right there. That could be developing and a little wave out ahead of it which could also develop. Now I hope we get some tropical waves moving through the Caribbean to really break hold of this heat. That would be good but I don't want anything organized. But you see as we get into the uh, upcoming week into next week, this is by the time this is the 26th. So we're looking a week and a half from now several air areas to watch right in here Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean is definitely going to get more active late this month into early October so watching that watching a spin over here and then watching these tropical waves right here these may develop into tropical storms potentially hurricanes down the road so we're going to see that active period late September into early October which is normal for this time of year it is the peak of the hurricane season now I want to show you the European model how it does develop this wave off the coast of Africa first thing is first here's the Caribbean Gulf of Mexico Cuba Jamaica Bahamas right here here's what's left of Lee, there is Margo, the Azores right there, and uh, watching Nigel right here, here's Bermuda. So let me just take you out in time and what we're seeing with the European model. Both the European model and American model, they're global models. Uh, the countries run these global models, so it helps out the rest of the uh, world. And as we go out in time, again, this is today, and then we'll take ahead and I'll show you what we're seeing with this. So what's left of Lee falls apart. There is Nigel, here's Bermuda, but there's that front right there. That's the front that should grab it in time for Bermuda. And you see it here stretching all the way down here, back through the Bahamas. That front may bring some extra showers to the Bahamas by early Wednesday. This is early Wednesday. That would keep Nigel well off to the east there of Bermuda. It will be a hurricane, of course, the higher seas, but that would keep it to the east. And then watching more areas that will be trying to develop. Look at that. By midweek, we're going to see this strong wave move off the coast of Africa. That's the one that should develop. So you see that there. 
And as we go out in time, we'll see some development out of that. What's left of Margo is right here. So there are the Azores. So as you get into the uh, really north central sections of the Atlantic, actually, as we get into the uh, eastern Atlantic, there are the Azores. Margo will be weakening, but there's going to be some gustier winds moving in mid and late week. Now, let's go out on time further, deeper into the upcoming week. There's Nigel making the turn because the front has it. That keeps it to the south and east of the Atlantic region of Canada, watching along the east coast of the United States like the American model was showing. But look at that as we work our way into Monday, not Monday tomorrow, but Monday, uh, let's see, so eight days from now, there is going to be this. The Amer or the uh, European model is showing this becoming a strong hurricane. So watching that tropical wave coming off by Wednesday and then throughout the week it should develop and then by the weekend and early the following week that should become a hurricane. Now where it goes hopefully it makes that curve not to Bermuda but hopefully it does make that curve away from the Caribbean a wait and see on that. So you can see the several areas that I'm watching that area may become Ophelia potentially the next hurricane of the uh, upcoming season. Now in the short term this will become a hurricane. This is Nigel. Here's Bermuda and you see the track kind of swinging it out. That is some good news. I'll watch out for any changes. This here, Margo diminishing, but that will eventually bring some gusty winds by the middle and end of the week as we work our way back toward the Azores. Short term, we've had a lot of rain. Costa Rica over toward Panama, some areas of the showers and storms, northern Venezuela and uh, Colombia. But here we go. St. Lucia, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, Grenada, not a whole lot. That's that heat dome in place. ABC Islands, we have been so, so dry. And you see here, as we go throughout the day, spotty showers and storms. Hit or miss, Haiti, Dominican Republic, not a lot for uh, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Montserrat, Seba, St. Martin. We could get that little pop-up shower, but it's nothing widespread. So a passing shower possible today. Then we work our way into tomorrow. This is our Monday. And you see that rain there? Panama, Costa Rica, there is going to be flooding. Giving you the heads up. In some spots, we're going to get additional flooding. We already have those uh, rivers uh, on the rise, the streams on the rise in spots. And we're only going to see more rain here trying to stretch up toward Nicaragua tomorrow. Belize, passing shower, storm. Th same thing, Honduras and the Yucatan of Mexico. As we work our way out into two Tuesday, you see Eastern Caribbean, not a lot of action, but at that point on Tuesday, we'll be watching off uh, to the east to see that strong tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. As we work our way into the Eastern Pacific side, Tropical Depression 12 has uh, really fizzled out. This here doesn't appear to be a big issue. Things have been quieter on the Pacific side, Eastern Pacific side, the Atlantic. That's where most of the action has been so far this season. Trinidad and Tobago, limited chance of rain, 20% chance. Keep me posting in the comments what you get or what you don't get. I do appreciate that as we build build this weather community. Barbados isolated 30% chance of a shower storm today. We may get a passing one in uh, St. Lucia. We have got a rain chance 30 to 40% chance, 40% chance today in Dominica. Isolated shower storm, St. Kitts and Nevis, just a 30% chance. Antigua, Barbuda, looking at a passing shower chance like we've had over the last few days, but nothing widespread. Grenada, we have been way too dry. Rain chance only 10%. Jamaica, scattered storms possible in the afternoon. We even had a couple last night in some spots. I was watching those comments coming in. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 10% chance of a shower. Puerto Rico, 40% chance of a couple of the afternoon showers and storms. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, about a 20% chance of a shower, 20% chance today in Anguilla in the next three days. It does stay limited. Belize, pop-up storms today, a 30% chance, tomorrow a 40% chance. The Bahamas, not a whole lot, passing shower chance, 30% chance uh, today, St. Martin, Saba, and uh, Stacia, so we could see a little passing shower. 30% chance over the next three days over toward the Yucatan of Mexico, including Cancun. The Cayman Islands, again, isolated shower, 30% chance for today. We'll see a couple around, but nothing uh, nothing too much. Turks and Caicos, a small 20% chance of a shower possible. Haiti, we'll see a few afternoon storms around. Where we get it, there could be that quick runoff. So watching out for some of those river crossings as we go throughout the day. Dominican Republic, rain chance a bit higher. Scattered storms, afternoon, evening. Even a few could linger into tonight, about a 50% chance. Aruba, we're mainly on the dry side. We work our way back toward Curacao. Bonaire, rain chance very, very minimal, mainly dry weather with us with that area.
area of high pressure. Guadalupe Ranch chance 30%, 30% chance today. Martinique, 20% chance for tomorrow. Costa Rica, there's that high chance of rain. Panama lifting up toward Nicaragua. I'll keep an eye on Guatemala and El Salvador. We'll have some spotty showers around. Guyana, limited 10% chance. Only a 5% chance today as we get into uh, Suriname. And we'll see some isolated showers and storms like we have this morning in northern Venezuela, especially northwestern Venezuela, building back toward Colombia. So the heat dome in place. We're dealing with the unusually dry weather for this time of year. Nigel, hopefully, to the east of Bermuda. Margo gets close to the Azores in multiple areas to watch off the coast of the Carolinas and Florida and Georgia. And we're watching in the Western Caribbean. We're going to see extra moisture near Belize and just south of Jamaica. Plus, we're going to be watching that strong wave and a couple of them coming off the coast of Africa for the week ahead. I'll continue to track that for you. Thank you for sharing this channel with others. Have a good day ahead.